Dear students, until now we have discussed the classification of softwares and we have specifically talked about application softwares and utility softwares. From today, we will talk mainly on operating system and what is inside the operating system and how that operating system can further be classified into user interface and the kernel. So if I remind you the software classification, so we have covered this thing in our previous module and in this module we are more concerned with operating system components and this would be the first module covering operating system components and then in the next module we will further discuss about these components in details. So today we will be discussing user interface and the kernel. So actually whenever user communicate or want to communicate with the computer so the part which is communicating with the user is known as user interface and kernel is the core part of operating system which is performing basic operations like file management, memory management, process management etc. So when user request some actions and OS communicate with the user such a thing is such portion is known as user interface and such interfaces in the old operating system are known as shell and these shells were communicating based on text messages and you were only able to type some commands. In the recent past you might have noticed that using Linux we could also communicate with the Linux operating system using a shell where we can type certain commands or messages and then with the passage of time those shells under the heading of user interface have been evolved to make a graphical user interface which is also called GUI and in short form this is also called GUI. So this GUI has pictorial representation as icons, it support mouse pointing devices, touch screen can be handled with fingers. So all of such things were available in the GUI and early GUI applications could be loaded from MS-DOS which is currently one of the utility program available in Windows. And then there is another very important component within the user interface known as Windows Manager. So this is a component of GUI. This allocates block of space on screen called windows. So when you open multiple windows on screen, so those windows may overlap their space. However, the components within each window will belong to that particular window. It doesn't happen that the content within a Microsoft Word window will be copied when they are being overlapped with the window of Microsoft PowerPoint. So when applications want to display anything on screen, it notifies the Windows Manager that I want to display this thing on this window and that Windows Manager manages the space and it places desired images in the dedicated window. window. So let's see uh, it pictorically with an example. So here I have two windows. This is one window which is basically a window of Microsoft Word. So I have opened something in Microsoft Word. Then there is another window over here which is a window of Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you want to overlap these windows, it will not happen that when this window is overlapping with this, then this content will go 
to this window so it will not happen ever so the content which is form of this microsoft world ms world the content being displayed in this window will remain within this window and the content which is this microsoft powerpoint will remain in this window and this is being handled by windows manager and that is one of the uh, component of gui and that comes under the heading of user interface under operating system software classification and then there is another component of operating system known as kernel so you can say that basically the internal part of operating system is known as kernel which you can see over here and then there is a user interface with which user communicate and this user interface has one of the component as windows manager however the internal part over here is basically managed by the kernel and that is managing the files device drivers and memory manager which we will be discussing in the next module so if we conclude today's topics we have learned about different components of operating system so we started from the classification of software where we have application softwares and system softwares and within system software we went for utility softwares and then operating system and within operating system we found two things user interfaces and then the kernel so we to in today's module we have mainly focused on the user interface and kernels and we have also talked about shell versus gui and then we have learned with an example that how windows manager is managing different windows under the heading of gui